Hi guys, welcome back to the Curl Factory. It's Raquel. Today's video is on should I be co-washing my hair or should I be shampooing my hair? And I'm just going to share my thoughts and it's going to be a very, very quick video. But before we get into this, please subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell as well. Videos come out every Monday and Thursdays. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can find me at Raquel the Curl Factory. I'm going to start this video off with it's a personal choice if you're going to co-wash or if you're going to shampoo your hair. And let's start off with that. A lot of people feel like, oh, what am I supposed to do? I have to co-wash. I have to shampoo. And I'm going to start off by saying make the decision for yourself. If you're not really sure, try co-washing for three months, then shampoo for three months, and then decide which one you actually prefer. That's the first thing. The second thing is what method are you following? If you're following the curly girl method, then they advocate for co-washing. So again, it's choice. Are you choosing to follow the curly girl method or not? So when you're deciding, should I co-wash or should I shampoo? Make that decision first and then move forward. So let's start off with shampooing because most of us grew up with shampooing our hair. But when you enter into the natural hair world, you find things out like sulfate free. So if you're choosing to shampoo your hair, make sure you are using a sulfate free shampoo. Also use shampoos that don't contain um, sulfate, silicones, parabens, mineral oil. That's kind of like just the standard if you're going to choose to shampoo your hair. If you're somebody like me, I like to shampoo my hair, but I like moisturizing shampoos. I also want foam on my scalp to kind of remind me that my hair is being cleansed. So if you're somebody who still mentally wants that clean, make sure you're using sulfate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, mineral oil-free shampoos that are going to give you the cleanse but not strip your hair. If you are shampooing your hair and you're finding that your hair is getting a bit stripped or a bit dry, try pre-pooing your hair first. It's the step before you shampoo. Watch my video on how I pre-poo my hair. Pre-poo, then shampoo. Curl washing, on the other hand, is a method that's designed, you know, to keep moisture in your hair um, because shampoos can be drying and stripping as I said and when you co-washing you want to co-wash with um, a product that has been designed to be a co-wash or you want to co-wash with a botanical conditioner you want to look for ingredients like lemongrass and lavender those type of ingredients if you're going to be using a conditioner it must be or rather it should be a botanical conditioner so you find that curl washing really coats the curls doesn't dry it out and really keeps the moisture in so you'll find a lot of people who have dry hair they really want to curl wash their hair and Curl washing comes from this book here, which is the Curly Girl, the handbook. I know a lot of people say that this book is a bit outdated, but if you'd like to know my thoughts on the book, I have like a four or five part series on my channel just to hear my thoughts on the book as well. So that's where curl washing comes from. It comes from Lorraine Massey and her development of the Curly Girl Method. I know the Curly Girl Method is evolving and it has evolved, but that's where it stems from. Because a lot of people are just like curl washing, but where does it come from? Why should I be doing it? So it's really nice to understand what you were doing. During winter, most people like myself like to to curl wash because you want to moisturize your hair um, or rather add more moisture into your hair during the colder months. I also know a lot of girls who follow the curly girl method shampoo as well. That's why I started off saying that this is a choice. Don't lock yourself into something that you're not comfortable with. A lot of ladies will co-wash and co-wash and co-wash, not really getting a good protein and moisture balance. They might end up with a bit of moisture overload. Also, don't forget to clarify your hair once a month as well. Get a clarifying shampoo. The shampoo on the packaging must say clarifying so that you make sure you're also getting rid of any product buildup that you've had from adding leave-ins and stylers and creams and oils. You want to clarify your hair as well. This is going to be nine years that I'm natural. And if I have to look at my journey and if I have to look at co-washing my hair and shampooing my hair, I'm still a shampoo person. I still lean towards shampoo. I don't think either one one is better because there's 
these months where I'm co-washing, then I go back to shampoo, then I co-wash, I go back to shampoo. For me, one is not better than the other on my personal hair journey. I cannot say to you guys, you know what, co-washing is definitely the way to go. I've seen a major difference because I haven't, but I do both in my hair care routine. As I said, you know, this month I might co-wash for the entire month and then three months go down the line and I'm shampooing for three months straight. I switch it up on my hair care routine and I don't see much of a difference if I have to be honest with you guys and that's why I started off this video saying it's a choice if you co-washing and loving it continue if you shampoo and loving it continue but make sure you look at the ingredients and make sure that you are using products that are not stripping your hair I hope this video helped you guys co-wash or shampoo I do both as always guys drop your comments in down below let me know do you shampoo do you car wash do you do both like me and as always you'll see me again bye